I'll put you in the video. Oh, that's my shop doggy. <clears throat> All right, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the garage, another episode of Night Owl Rides. My name is Brendan. Uh, today we are going to be uh, continuing uh, putting some parts on the bike. Uh, in the past uh, couple videos I have, please go check them out. I have the crash bar put on from Bunking and also the passenger pegs. One last piece for the passenger safety and comfort is gonna be this Harley Davidson uh, Hold Fast Quick Release Sissy Bar. So pretty cool, uh, pad comes on and off. Quick release system, locks into the docking hardware, snaps down, so you can take this on and off the bike depending on what your needs are for the ride. Uh, really excited about that piece, so we're going to get that on and hopefully get a uh, nice little cruise in. I know the weather's about 46 degrees today, so <laughs> prime riding weather in upstate New York. Alright, stay tuned, we'll get this on the bike. All right, so we're here at the back of the bike. First order of business is gonna be removing the bags, getting exposure to the docking hardware and the bolts, and uh, then we'll be able to get the wrenches out and start to get all the hardware on. Uh, should be a quick install, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna get the bags off right now, all right. Alright, so one quick note before I get into it, I'm about to take the bags off right now. I do have, uh, in my previous video for uh, doing the passenger pegs, I do show how to take the bags on and off. So if you wanted to see how to do that, just check out that video. Um, but what I want to do and just make sure that I, I pointed out is just have a nice soft spot or somewhere for the bags to come off and sit on. It's They have uh, you know nice painted plastic, so you don't want to just put them on concrete or my garage rug. Uh, so I have a, a climbing mat right under here that I'm uh, just gonna show you real quick. Nice soft area, got a nice almost microfiber -y, uh material on the inside of it. So just a nice area just to put them down, you know, a moving mat, something like that. Just, you know, make sure that you clear a space before you take off your bag and you're holding it and you're like, oh, where do I put this? Um, don't get it. All right, cool. Let's get these things off. We're gonna need the T45 Torx bit. You need a socket wrench. Uh, I always break out the extension just to, you know, just to have, uh, just in case. But should be able to just do it um, with the socket itself. Uh, got the instructions and uh, you know, also hats in the store and stickers. Just wanted to drop that in there real quick. Uh, no pressure. But um, that's everything I have uh, ready to go. This should be pretty quick. So I'm just gonna get the camera set up and um, you know, get going. All right, so now you can see what we're working with here. Uh, we have the uh, docking area for the bags right here and the, uh, the bolt that goes through it. So I'm just gonna start by uh, getting my T45 on my torque wrench and taking these off and then we'll talk about how to arrange uh, uh, the spacers. All right, so here we go. Got it in reverse. Oh, yep. Got it in reverse. Just back these guys out. There we go. Nice and gentle. Oh, and uh, just a quick reminder, as you're doing this, there is a backing plate back here. Just uh, beware that once you take these bolts out, this will slide down and you don't want it to uh, smash a rotor or hit your, your pipe, especially if you have like nice custom pipe that you just put on. So uh, yeah, just be careful of that. see that the bolt goes through, you have the docking hardware for the bag, and then you have this spacer that was previously right here. This spacer is gonna come out, and we're gonna replace that with the docking hardware. So I'm gonna go and uh, get all these pieces off first, and then we're gonna reassemble uh, everything. So it would be nice and clear the order and sequence that it goes in. 
All right, so this one I'm gonna be very careful because the backing plate back here is gonna drop out. So just uh, be careful as you're doing this. All right, same on the side. Uh, docking hardware, spacer, and the bolt that goes in between. Same on the side. Uh, bolt, docking hardware, and spacer. All right, so just wanted to show you within the kit, there are gonna be two spacers. There's going to be the front, which is a little bit wider width here, but skinnier overall. Uh, and then the back is gonna be a little bit Thicker. You can see like the thickness there and then this channel is a little bit skinnier um, The reason this one's a little bit wider is that there is a uh, rubber or plastic grommet uh, Around the seat on the, the front of the hold fast sissy bar itself So when that gets installed, I'll show that off, but this is gonna have a bigger channel So this is gonna sit in the front position right here. So more towards the, the handlebars and the seat uh, and then this one's gonna go uh, back here in the rear and we're just gonna use some black Loctite and uh, Loctite them up. All right, I'll get those on. And everybody just wanted to show you real quick what the setup is gonna look like before you install it back on the bike. So what it's gonna be, I'll break it down real quick. It's gonna be the bolt. Bolt goes through the mounting hardware for the bag, which then goes through the docking hardware for the hold fast sissy bar. So it's gonna go just like this. You can see, bolt goes through, bag mount, sissy bar mount, bolt, into the bike, ratchet it down. Uh, I am gonna just, you know, have this off to the side set up. I'm gonna put another layer of, you can see the old blue Loctite on there. I might just clean that up real quick, uh, put some blue Loctite on it, and then get this side all ready to go. Do a fast forward version on the other side, and then we'll get into mounting up the uh, sissy bar itself. All right, cool. There we go. So I uh, just wanted to get, knock off some of the, uh, blue Loctite that was like really gunked up in the grooves. Um, don't have to go too crazy, you don't have to like get it back to polish, but uh, at least now I feel like that's a, you know, the thread is back to where it needs to be. So uh, get some new Loctite on there, get the, uh, the spacer and the docking hardware on and get the side buttoned up, all right? Okay, I'll go too crazy, just, just enough, kind of match up where it was before. Right down for a second. All right, so I have to install this back on. Just one note, you will see that there is kind of a raised edge on the docking hardware. Not a raised edge, but it uh, flat on this side, kind of protrudes on the top. That is to go in right there. There's just a small little indent. So that'll go in, boom, receive like that. Get it started with the hand. And then we will get it all tightened up. A little bit of blue Loctite, just marry up where it was before. Nothing crazy. Pop that in there. Boom. Get that seated. That seat's in pretty flush, actually. That's nice. All right, so this side is hand tight right now, uh, but looking good. So we have the uh, mounts for the bag, and then we have the docking hardware for the hold fast sissy bar. So pretty cool, really quick on and off for both the bag and the sissy bar. Really easy to just you know customize your ride for the day, uh, whatever you need. Pop it on, pop it off, and you're good to go. So uh, so far so good. All right, let's get the other side done.
All right, so now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna put on the hold fast sissy bar, see how it looks on the bike, make sure everything's looking good. Then I'm just gonna go through, make sure all like, read through the instructions, make sure everything's torqued to spec, everything's good to go, and then we'll get the bags on, roll it out, do a couple photos out in sunlight. All right, cool. Awesome, so that's it. This is really cool. This is the first time I put this on. It literally just, you know, make sure it's snug up in the front and then you bring it down. These two latches right here, the release latches, when you bring it down, they locked into place, so that was great. Then you simply, you know, just with your thumbs, pull back, lift up, and then it comes right off. And you know, wiggle that out. That was a little snug, but that's it. On and off, just like that, you know. You wanna ride with a passenger, uh, that's pretty cool, you know and I will throw the bags on so we can see what the install looks like there, but boom, bring it down there, and then as soon as you put it down, the lock engages, so now that's on there solid. That's on there really solid. And you know, you don't know anything about this bike or this sissy bar, I don't even know if people would know that this is easy on, easy off, so uh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put the bags on right now, just so we can take a look at that, and then uh, we'll roll it out in the sunlight, do some photos. All right, pretty stoked. I just want to say thank you everyone for tuning in to another episode of Night Owl Rides. We got the Hold Fast Sissy Bar from Harley on. Quick, easy install. Looks great on the bike. Looks great with the bags. Quick on and off. Tested that. I could be more happy. Uh, I think it's going to be really great. Uh, I hope my wife likes it. You know, she's saying that she feels like she's going to fly off the back of this thing. The ST has some power, I'm just going to say. So, uh, pretty stoked. Love the way it turned out. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for tuning in. Really enjoy making this content. If you're enjoying this, please hit the like button, subscribe, uh, and hit the bell icon for notifications when new content comes out. Uh, also, if you go to nightowlrides.com, we got these beanies, uh, we got some killer hats, and uh, we got these really cool logo stickers up right now. A bunch of other gear. We got ladies gear, uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, and just gonna keep adding more. So really excited for all that. Please check it out, nightowlrides.com. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the bell, and I'll uh, see you on the next episode. All right, peace. I'll put you in the video. Oh, that's my shop dog. That's my shop dog here. See you in the video, girl.